Well, I'll be damned. You're from that vault, Vault 101. <laughs> Name's Lucas Sims, town sheriff, and mayor too, when the need arises. I don't know why, but I like you, boy. Something tells me you're all right. So welcome to Megaton. Just holler if you need something. Friendly and well-mannered. I think we're gonna get along just fine. You treat my people nice, and you're welcome to stay as long as you'd like. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, is there something I can help you with? Alright, right on to the bomb. So that's what I'm going to be talking about. I don't trust any of the locals to tinker with it. Besides, most people don't even realize it's still a threat. And hell, Cromwell and those crazies from the Church of Adam, they worship the damn thing. Why? Do you think you got the know-how to disarm it? For good? Oh, all right. Fine. But all right, so here. this is the... Just yeah, I think this is the speech up. skill bit. So, easy. so fingers if crossed it works. Done, Just that's why I raised it by about, like, 20 levels. That's pretty steep. Oh, nice, so it worked. Do it and you'll get 21% you. chance as well. Up, we'll all Half leveled up as well. My yeah, so that's quite lucky. Just, I decided to have my luck to seven, so like, the higher your luck is, then, you know, the more likely good things that'll happen. Just like that. Yeah, I want to raise the medicine skill a bit and repair, because that's useful. I nearly forgot to raise explosives to 25, because good to see you I remember you need that to disarm the bomb. Don't blow us up now. Yeah, oh yeah, so the bomb's just down here. Yeah, so you only need an explosive explosive skill level 25 to disarm it. But since I passed that speech skill, he's offering a bigger reward now. I think he said 500 caps. He's going to say 100, but I'm going to get five times as much now. Alright, a highly skilled explosives expert. I wouldn't say 25 is like highly skilled. It's quite like lowly skilled, but... Yeah, I'm sure this disarms it. Yeah, you have successfully disarmed the bomb. Right, hooray, that's the bomb dealt with. So, the town's no longer at risk and it's not really going to get blown up now. I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. You oh, stay I'm nearly level four as well. Yeah, you, you do get like certain amounts of XP for completing quests, so like, it's not always 200 like the last quest that I done. Oh yeah, this is the house. Yeah, so you get the house for to summon the bomb as a reward, and 500 caps. That's why I find the quest really useful. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Alright, I'm gonna get drinks of water. Sir, here you are. Yeah, so it like gives you purified water as well. So I could give that to like you know people who sorry, haven't got sir, clean water. Need time to fully recharge before I can continue to dispense any more beverages. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. Of course, of course, don't let me keep you. Oh yeah, so you can like tell your jokes and all that, which I think is pretty good. Yeah, like really cheesy jokes as well. Yeah, so this is my house from now. Pretty good how I just came out of the vault as well, and now I've got my own home and I've got like loads of cash. 
Yeah, but I'm going to be showing you guys in the series how to like survive on very hard difficulty, and that's why I'm playing on very hard as well. Now I know I've never seen you in Megaton before. Well, let me guess, just passing through, right? We get people trying to settle down here all the time. Anyway, if you're hungry, you came to the right place. What can I get you? Have a look. Most of it's edible. Some of it even tastes good. Yeah, pretty much you just try and buy as many stim packs as you can. And then you can hotkey them, so that means when you press like either up, right, left or down on the analog stick, then it'll it'll use the stim packs so we can like assign it to any one. So I usually have it I usually have the stim packs down on the analog stick, so whenever my like health slow from like a fight then I just click down on the analog stick to use the stim pack and that boosts your health back up. So that's why I find it really useful and it makes it, it makes the game much easier to play even on very hard difficulty. So that's that's how I do it by the way. So if any of you guys can try it as well. But I usually have like I usually have like a few hundred stim packs just in case. And I just like save up a lot. I'm Doc Church and I run this clinic. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid and we'll get along just fine. Not quite as good as that vault stuff you're used to, but it'll do you. Yeah, he also sells things as well, so he'll offer like more medical supplies, so that means I'll be able to get like extra stim packs from him. Just like the other the other vendors only only have like about ten stim packs, but he has like thirty. So that's why I think he's like a really useful person to barter with. Even though he sells things at a slightly higher price, but you know he's got like more supplies, which is a really good thing. Oh yeah, you have like a karma level on here, so if you do something like good f for someone, so like a, a bit like that bomb that I disarmed, I would have gained yeah. karma for that good. because I'd saved lives. And yeah, and usually when you've got purified water, you can give that to like people who can't afford clean water, and that like boosts karma as well. So pretty much like it's a bit like charity. And. Yeah, you yeah, can lose karma, which is what I'm doing right now, just stealing things. Yeah, I'm not sure if to be like good or evil. I'll probably be like in between, so like I'll I'll save lives and that, but I'll also like steal things to try and make more money. Yeah, so I like say the devil head, which represents that you've done something bad, and you'll see like the head with like a golden halo on top of it the, to show that you've done something good. 